England are in serious danger of going out of the Cricket World Cup. They must now win their rain-affected match against India tomorrow after Zimbabwe caused the biggest shock of the tournament so far by beating the favourites, South Africa. Here's Angus Scott. At the start of the day, England needed a win to help them into the semis. By the end, they needed one to stay in the competition. But luck seemed to be on their side when Mark Elam deflected the ball onto the stumps to run the hapless Ganguly out. And Elam completed a good afternoon by taking the catch that dismissed top scorer Raul Dravid for 53. But chasing 233 to win, England lost Alex Stewart for two with a score on just 12. Two balls later, Graham Hick was on his way back to the pavilion, bowled by Mahanti for naught. The rain intervened to halt England's decline to the score on 73 for three. Meanwhile at Chelmsford, Zimbabwe pulled off the surprise of the tournament so far in beating favourite South Africa. Neil Johnson inspired them to a total of 234. He then took the new ball and immediately had Gary Kirsten caught out with the first ball of the innings. Some inspired fielding suddenly meant England's task against India was going to be crucial. Zimbabwe wrapped up their 48-run victory, their first ever over South Africa, leaving England a night to dwell on their World Cup future. Angus Scott, ITN Sport. So the Group A table looks like this. South Africa, despite that shock defeat, are already through to the Super 6 stage. And now so are Zimbabwe. England and India will resume play tomorrow to see which of them will join them. Motor racing Mika Hakkinen will be in pole position for tomorrow's Spanish Grand Prix in Barcelona. The defending champion driving for McLaren finished fastest in today's final qualifying session. It will be Hakkinen's fifth consecutive pole of the season. He finished a tenth of a second ahead of Ferrari's Eddie Irvine. David Coulthard was third ahead of the championship leader Michael Schumacher. Tonight's winning national lottery numbers have just been drawn. They are 3, 7, 9, 12, 43 and 44. The bonus number is 45 and the jackpot is a rollover one estimated at £12.7 million. Finally, James Major and Emma Noble tied the knot this afternoon in the ancient crypt chapel at Westminster. After the wedding service, John Major's son and his model-turned-actress bride held a glittering reception at London's Dorchester Hotel. Here's Ross Childs. Wedding guests arrived early at the Palace of Westminster. The groom's parents among the first there. Then came the bride herself, ten minutes late, wearing a traditional full-length wedding dress and veil. Security was tight both at the wedding and later at the reception at London's Dorchester Hotel. A reported £400,000 exclusive photo deal with Hello magazine meant it was a fight just to get near the new Mrs Major. <laughs> Celebrations at the Dorchester are expected to go on well into the night. The new Mr and Mrs Major will then start married life proper at a new £260,000 home at Chislehurst in Kent, the loan for which was secured by the groom's parents. Mr. and Mrs. Major, Senior. Ross Childs, ITM, at the Dorchester Hotel. I'll be back with more news tomorrow at noon. Until then, enjoy the bank holiday weekend. Some fireworks around tonight in the form of heavy thundery rain, especially across northern parts of England, North Wales, down to the southern Ireland. To the north and south, it's drier and clearer. Colder in the north, Scotland down to two in the glens, a touch of ground frost, would you believe? Southern parts of England and Wales, much, much warmer, a low of 12 or 13. And it's the far north and the far south, which will see the best of the sunshine first thing tomorrow morning, but in between, a lot of clouds still. The remnants of that overnight rain, still the odd heavy burst. Now, hopefully, during the course of the day, that rain should tend to die away, becoming fairly light and patchy, but still fairly cloudy here. So the best of the sunshine in the far north and the far south. Temperature-wise, the north, well, struggling again, 9 to 11 in the far north of Scotland. In this central zone, nearer 14 or 15, but still quite warm in southern parts of England, 20 or 21. 21 is 70 Fahrenheit. Quick look ahead to the bank holiday, and uh, most places starting off dry with some sunshine. I think it'll stay fine in the south and reasonably warm here too. Tending to cloud over, though, especially across... Ireland, western Scotland, northwestern parts of England, with some patchy rain in the afternoon. That's it. Here's a summary. Oh.
hydrogen, power, whatever the weather. 